This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, June 4th, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain across most of the southern provinces. The areas that coincide with the jet stream and tropopause are the cities of Vancouver, Kelowna, Nelson, and Cranbrook in B.C., Winnipeg in Ontario, and on the east coast from Quebec City through Halifax for the next 48 hours. In the U.S., radar imagery from Weather Underground shows scattered precipitation across approximately 75% of the country. Alaska is being hit straight on by the tropopause, as well as the following states, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and California from San Francisco north, as well as Nevada. As these systems gradually move east, the majority of fallout in the tropopause will move out of the U.S. and into Canada for the rest of the week. If you've been avoiding working in your yard or outside due to fallout risk, this may be the week to do it. Remember to decontaminate in the shower with baking soda if you are worried about possible exposure. In Europe, precipitation forecasts from USA Today Europe show the heaviest rain over the next few days to be located from Croatia and Romania south. Lighter rain is forecasted for the UK and Ireland, Scandinavia, and Northern Europe. Water vapor bans place Ireland and the UK at highest risk, as well as Northern France. Check Yurdup for radiation monitoring data. Several weeks ago, Nuked Radio put out a request for images from our listeners and YouTube. We've been swamped with pictures from all over Canada, the U.S., and Europe. The following states we've received pictures from so far. Every state in the Pacific Northwest, Utah, Arizona, Iowa, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and other New England states, as well as Texas and South Carolina. We've also received pictures from Sweden, Germany, and Poland. We have moved from dandelions being the number one submission to daisies, strawberries, and other produce, which we expect will continue all summer. You can still grow food outdoors, but there are several things that can be done to fortify the soil with calcium, magnesium, potassium, and clay, as well as decontaminating plants at harvest with boron. Check out Farming and Fallout on Facebook, where we discuss these issues. Together, we can find solutions to live a quality life in a world that has been nuked. And please continue to send us your images, and we will post them online and share them with Fukushima researchers. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.